Hello everyone, welcome to Simproved, Fry speaking here and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build and this is the first eco lifestyle release build that I'm doing for those who are asking themselves why is everything looking like it does look right now this is recorded on a really crappy laptop because I'm currently not at home I'm at my grandparents house because we have to uh, organize the burial for the family member death you know that I have been talking about in the latest videos so um, this is why I'm currently not at home but I could install the sims there and I could build something because of course it is released now eco lifestyle is out for console and for the PC players all at the same time and this is one of my favorite expansion pack so far i have been doing the tours for the from the early access etc and i must say that i really like the building stuff you could already see me here placing some debug objects in the background because i don't want you know the laptop to be super confused and i don't want to record everything because the recording software is a little bit you know um, it takes a lot <laughs> it takes a lot of this poor little laptop right here but i will try to create some videos some build videos for you guys and keep you updated with my uh, world here but yeah this is a family home slash post-apocalyptic camp kind of thing you guys always want family home so this is my evil nod to that because of course this is not your typical blue suburban house um that you guys want to see sometimes um uh, but but this is this improved version this is my um i like horror and weird stuff version so um i try to have it as an old canteen that maybe the industrial you know construction workers or porch workers there used before evergreen harbor went downhill um after the apocalypse or something and someone built um i put like a shipping container on top for, of it as well so i try to use lots of trash i try to use lots of the industrial stuff that we have and this is also an only base game and only eco lifestyle build so for those who have the new pack this is something you could download right away and play with it and uh, yeah i would suggest to put this on the second lot um directly in the harbor uh, i think it has like a really awful npc build on it so <laughs> it was easy to delete that one um and yeah it was uh, actually lots of fun during building this i realized i could have like a dorm upstairs in the shipping container and downstairs there's like the kitchen living room area and the, maybe a bathroom so this is what we're going to do here this is also limited space i think this is a 30 by 20 lot but i'm not sure at least i cluttered it a lot with lots of debug objects by the way if you ask yourself where like the shipping containers are from and like the water tower and all that stuff that's already there um you can get them with the cheat show well bb dot show life edit objects i will also try to put that in here uh, somewhere on the screen and uh, if you put in debug into the filtering system in the left lower left you get all of the hidden objects that are from the world and uh, yeah there is lots and lots of cool stuff from the eco lifestyle pack um especially these industrial stuff and i was like ah, i want to use them these are so cool and i'm pretty sure you're gonna like this as well because it's kind of like a little weird i've already seen so many people build a shipping container which i already did while um, having early access um that was like a let's build kind of thing and uh, i think now we are off to weirder stuff of course let me know in the comments down below i will read them i will try to answer you guys uh what you want to see me build with this uh i think the next up that i would like to do is like a townhouse for the other neighborhood i think that's the quarry neighborhood but i'm not sure because the townhouses look kind of awful and i think there sh could be some improvements to be honest um and yeah by the way i also like the lot in the background with the crane that you can see here this is a really good one um so i'm not gonna um better that maybe i do i'm not sure <laughs> i really want to do like a save file for this i think everyone is doing that um usually i get distracted with lots and lots of other projects so i can never really finish my world saves also we are still doing the harry potter world um 
right now. Uh, I've seen some other people upload something, so that's cool. But I can't get around building some of Harry Potter World because it is kind of like my baby. It's my favorite, you know. And I want to record stuff, you know, properly with my own setup at home. So since I don't know when I get home, because uh, we had some complications as well, because my mom, I had to drive her to the hospital yesterday. So she will be there in the hospital for one week now. So we had to postpone the whole burial as well. And uh, yeah, it's lots of stuff. <laughs> fun, fun times right now, but we are all fine. Don't worry, it's all okay. We are all fine. Um, but yeah, we have, it's, yeah, I have lots of, uh, I guess, uh, issues with, uh, yeah, finding time to do stuff or even have time schedules because every time when I have a time schedule, something comes up, I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm not doing this now, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that's what have been, has been bothering me now, uh, the last couple of days. Um, so yeah, I think we will do some uh, cute little builds. I think I can't do any huge builds on this laptop, at least I don't think so. So don't expect in the next you know, weeks to me to come up with something eco lifestyle if you are like, oh yeah, let's build a huge town or something. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's not what I can do at the moment. We will see, we will test it. Also, I will, of course, like always, stream on Twitch Every Friday is Friday, Friday be my name, you know, so it's easy to remember. Uh, 6 p.m. CT, so that's Central European time, so for Germany that's 6 p.m. I don't know what time that is for you guys, but yeah, this is always when I stream on Twitch. So I will try to uh, maybe play a little bit of Eco Lifestyle today. We'll see, we'll see. By the way, here we are already in interior. You could see me just putting random stuff all around, which is really easy for these post-apocalyptic kind of meshed in together things because, well, there's no real, you know, there's no order. <laughs> that is a thing. But I try to incorporate basically all of the objects that are necessary for getting bits and pieces. There's also some things where you can you know, like decide if you want to go for the industrial route or make this really green. So I have some planters, but I also have some generators and there will be like this stove oven thing, metal oven thing in the interior, also lots of industrial materials. So basically I think this build won't affect uh, like the, the eco footprint to the greener side. This is also built by having a done full smog because I just uh, thought this could be like a nice starter. So wherever, you know, whatever you want to do with, um, What's it called? Port Promise is the neighborhood? Yeah. Um, I think it is easy to upgrade this into an eco-friendly version while playing this and also, uh, you know, go full industrial evil, whatever. Um, it was actually quite funny because when I looked at the build and buy stuff, I was like, oh yeah, this is also cool. I think I've looked at everything. And then in the end, when I was building this, I was like, Oh, we have that <laughs> didn't I like maybe the early access lacked some objects or maybe it was the show life edit objects cheat but yeah there were new things in there <laughs> so I had to use them right away or I couldn't remember then that could be also possible of course um I'm getting old guys I'm getting old but yeah, I actually liked that it is very cluttered. Of course, I didn't go super crazy with it. So I think that your crappy laptops can handle it because my crappy laptop can handle it. Um, so that's a plus. And also for those who still don't have equal living and are waiting like for a bundle or some kind of thing, I hope I can do a giveaway soon. I'm not sure when. Since, uh, yeah, like I said, the whole scheduling here is off the charts. I don't know what, what you know, I don't know what's happening. Basically, that's the, that's the whole, that's my whole life right now. I don't know what's happening. But, uh, yeah, I hope that we can do like a little giveaway maybe of a eco lifestyle. Because I personally really like it. For those people who like industrial builds or stu structural stuff, in my opinion, this is super cool. This is a super cool pack. I myself am a huge horror fan, which I sometimes do lots of horror builds or kind of like weird, wonky, magical, whimsical stuff. Um, this is a cool pack because there are lots of objects that we didn't have in any other pack before. Also the style, in my opinion. This is, of course, nothing for someone who likes like classy, classical castle buildings or something like that. 
But I think if you like raider camps, like Fallout, apocalyptic things, this is like a really cool pack to build with that. I think in combination with get to work objects, that could be really cool. So if you are into these kinds of builds, um, I would suggest getting get to work and uh, at least also eco lifestyle because these are pretty cool, like really have cool objects, etc. Also, as you can see, there is an observatory on the, you know, on the shipping container because it looks kind of like, um, like a guard tower thing, maybe. You know, your sims can get inside and uh, do stuff. I think they can even woohoo. Can they even woohoo in the observatory? See, I never play the game. I only build. I'm sorry. I'm misinformed. But here we are in the dorm room, so to speak. So there are two toddler beds, one single bed and a double bed. So you could technically have two toddlers, a child and maybe a couple. I think sims can skip over in the bats, right? So it's possible. So that's one, two, three, four, five, five sims. Hey, that's cool. So yeah, you could have up to five sims. I think that's pretty cool. So I put like lots and lots of um, walls around it, some poles, some columns and lots of curtains and then divided the walls with spandrels. So it looks as if it's like made up kind of curtain wally thing. Is this something curtain walled up, something like that? Um, for their privacy, so they could technically, you know, uh, yeah, close the curtains for privacy. Is that a thing? Does this make sense? I hope so. So uh, that was my whole idea. I really I was inspired by the Snowpiercer series. I love the movie. I'm currently watching the Snowpiercer series again on Netflix, and <laughs> honestly, uh, maybe we could do a Snowpiercer build like tail or something <laughs> that could be cool but we don't have really long lots so you would have to you know just have like a couple of wagons or whatever it's called that would be really cool but yeah that could be like a cool build i guess um and yeah basically it was just really cool to get back to eco lifestyle get my hands on it again and uh, look up stuff you know how it looks like etc um basically i'm really waiting for your suggestions for build mode um because i'm currently a little bit i'm lacking a little bit of inspiration but i have to say that it cheered me up massively to build again in the sims 4. i was like uh, should i really record i will probably sound awful in the voiceover you know i was really feeling down but then when I started building today, I was like, oh, this is cool. This is cheering me up so hard because, you know, I've been building The Sims most of the time, you know, almost most of my life now, when, you know, to cheer me up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm glad that this still works. That's that's a cool plus, of course. Um, yeah, I think there's nothing more to say. Of course, in the end now, we will have lots and lots of um little screenshots i can't do a video tour now with these nice video panning shots because they take quite a lot of rendering time the recording software is going full on rage mode on me then so i was like okay no I'm, I'm not doing that so be prepared that for the next couple of weeks we will only do some screenshots um at the end of the video so you can have a closer look so this is uh, basically my version of a video tour under these circumstances right now um, I hope you don't mind. I try to, I of course try to do it as good as I can because I haven't taken screenshots like these for ages now. So I sometimes don't know what to show, but I try to show every little corner so you can have a better look at everything like a normal speed, you know, because speed builds are quite speedy. Um, and yeah, so this is basically what's been going on in my life and what's going on in this build. So yeah, as you can see, there will tickle gardens and these planters if you want to go green and maybe self-sufficient with like food. And also there are some generators and uh, a wind turbine, windmill kind of thing. So either way, you can delete one to go full green or full industrial if you want to. And maybe you can go crafting or something. So yeah, there is the recycler for the bits and pieces. Uh, I think there is no fabricator because it looks super modern. I don't like that, but you can add it because we have so much space everywhere. And yeah, this is basically it guys. I really hope that you like it. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel. If you like Sims 4 builds like these, leave me comments what you really want to see me build. 
And yeah, I hope that you're all fine, that you're all happy and good. And I hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye! Thank you.